when monitoring performance for managers, um, really the monitoring piece is a continual aspect, but more formally, we look at managers as an investment committee formally on a quarterly basis. And that's really made up of two main parts. The first section is we look at the market backdrop for active management. So where conditions conducive or challenging for active management. So that's the first piece of it. And the second piece of it, we delve into the manager specific review. So on the markets review, we'll look at a lot of quantitative information. So for example, we'll look at stock correlations, we'll look at factor correlations, We'll look at valuation spread, so a measure of the dispersion of the cheapest to most expensive stocks. We'll look at other things like interest rates. Um, there's some empirical evidence to suggest that when rates rise, it's beneficial to active managers. Uh, we'll look at mark macro stress indicators. So for example, we'll look at the policy uncertainty index. Uh, we'll look at the VIX. Um, we'll look at things like flows into passive. So really to set the stage, what are your expectations for active management and specific styles in a given period? That's the first part of the review on a quarterly basis. So it really sets the backdrop to understand what are your expectations for our existing managers. Once we've completed the first part of that meeting, we move on to the second part of the meeting where we do the deep dive on our managers and really look for outliers. So we know what's transpired in the market for that particular quarter or year, whatever period's that in consideration. We set in stone our expectations for the manager beforehand, so we're not cheating. This is what we would expect, both from a stylistic and factor standpoint. If you know, X, Y, Z factors do well or do it poorly, this is what we would have expected from the managers. And then we really hone in where there's discrepancies. So for example, coming out of March 2009, um, when you know, risk was strongly embraced and companies priced for bankruptcy strongly rebounded, one would expect that all deep value managers to do well. If we didn't see that, that certainly would be a red flag and cause for follow-up with one of those managers. There have been times where Harbor has been required to replace a manager. Uh, hopefully Harbor has done sufficient due diligence on the front end, um, where we're often working with managers for 12, 18, 24 months worth of due diligence. So we really understand what we're getting from that manager from a stylistic footprint. So hopefully we've done enough good work on the front end where situations are rare, where we have to replace a manager. But you know, situations do exist where we do in fact have to replace that manager. So what are some of the things that we look for? We're looking at their sources of risk and return and if those are changing over time outside of our expectations. So for example, one manager that jumps to mind, uh, we, we're increasingly seeing price momentum as a factor in their stylistic footprint, despite that not being linked to anything in their philosophy and process. And that really became structural and not really explainable. That combined with some investment professional turnover ultimately led us to not be comfortable with forward-looking alpha expectations for that manager. And ultimately it was a subjective qualitative decision supported by some of these quantitative analytics that caused us to lose conviction and ultimately re replace that manager. One other example that I can think of is persistent structural underperformance that was outside of expectations for this manager. And as we continued to dig in, one could have understood if there were some stylistic headwinds with this particular manager, there were actually stylistic tailwinds where they should have done well. So over a very long time period, performance outside expectations suggesting that uh, stock picking and selection had degraded and there was actually negative alpha there. And again, after qualitative judgment supported by these quantitative tools, we ultimately chose to replace that manager to do what's best for our shareholders on a forward-looking basis.